Yo, what's going on guys, I'm Smith and I'm back to a video. And today we're going to be doing the weekly B Buffalo Bills team team update. So as you guys know, the Bills did play on Monday this week. And so you should have gotten the video out on Tuesday if they played on Monday. But I missed a day of school last week and a ton of work to make up. So I'm finally back on track. So the video is going to be coming out on a Wednesday. But unfortunate loss to Tennessee Titans of a bye week. We came in like get our redemption in a week. Very unfortunate. But, to be honest, it was a great game by the offense, but the defense really it wasn't good at all. So on offense, we had Josh Allen, 35 for 47, 353 yards, three touchdowns and a pick. The one pick is not his fault at all. Don't care what anyone says. Spencer Browns gets a beat off the edge, and, it, and you know what happens. Now one thing though, red zone offense has to be a lot better, because... If we scored those two touchdowns when we were in the red zone, we win this game, and it's not even close. Emmanuel Sanders, again, showing us why he's a great receiver in the league. Five receptions for 91 yards. Absolute monster this year, I'm not going to lie. Then we had Stefan Diggs, nine receptions, 89 yards, and a touchdown. Cole Beasley, seven receptions, 88 yards, and a touchdown. And unfortunately, Dawson Knox did break a bone in his hand. And he will be out for a little bit. He's probably going to miss a game or two. I don't know if he's going to go on IR, but he will miss a few games. But Tommy Sweeney, on one of the first plays where he comes in as tight end, catches a touchdown to give us the lead at the time, which... Oh, I'm so mad that we lost. Porter had a pick, which was very, very nice. Um, No sacks at all. That's horrendous. That just can't happen. Um, Honestly, breaking by Tremaine Edmonds again... He was making every single tackle. It was just crazy. Now, one thing that annoys me the most, Isaiah McKenzie had a kick return touchdown, which would have probably won us the game. It was called back on a holding penalty by um Andre Smith. Now, honestly, just for that, as you guys see on the screen, I got to move him from the lineup. I just can't have him be on, on our team anymore. I don't care that we lose the Bills game. He just can't be on my team. All right, so now we're going to get into Madden, that part of the video of the Buffalo Bills team team update each week. Um, Offense, no moves at all. I'm actually kind of shocked by that because we had most feared come out. But as you guys see right here, same team, same overall, same everything basically. Reggie Bush still got to get his uh, card back. And then Diggs and Bobby Woods still need to get their LTDs. I'm probably going to end up only getting uh, Diggs LTD because Bobby Woods, it's kind of like, unless he gets a really, really good card, he's not going to be too too much better than Sammy Watkins, you know what I'm saying? The offensive line, to be honest, it isn't terrible. Um, I would love to see a left tackle the most fear promo for us. I would love to see either Deion Dawkins or Jason Peters. Hopefully it is a Deion Dawkins though because I do really love him in real life. But moving on to the defense, we definitely have the most upgrades here. So in the past week, we've had four upgrades to this defense. As you guys see right here, Matt Milano, the first of them. He had a most fear card, and I do have a strike him in round. So he has 97 speed. Absolutely insane. Literally, I have no idea why that's a thing. But it's absolutely incredible, these strike cards. They're, they're insane. So Matt Milano, 97 speed. It's going to go down to, I think, like 89, I think. Once all the most here stuff is done. But honestly, pretty good stats. Now his pass rush stats are horrific. So it's not even usable to be honest. Because you cannot get Lurker on him. Which is a huge issue. So yeah, to be honest, he's he's not really usable, but he is a nice addition to the squad if you do want uh use your linebackers. Now we did add a filler this past week. Jeremy Chin. Again, as you guys see right here. The plus eight speed boost, absolutely nuts. Now, he will have 91 speed once most of is done, but he's still a great card anyway. Uh, 92 zones, very, very good, along with 86 uh, hit power. For a zone archetype, really isn't terrible. So he's definitely a great user. I do have uh, Acrobat on him. So he does make a lot of plays for my team, I can guarantee you that. All right, so try removing the strat card, but just I like, didn't remove. So here are Jerry Hughes' stats, our uh, last most feared upgrade. And we have one more I want to show you. But 90 speed, uh, I can't even say this. So he's going to have, I think, 82 speed with about 
I think about 88 XL. So he's pretty, pretty good. Now finesse move, that's just juiced for no reason at all for the strat cards. He's not really gonna be useful because he's an 85 overall. He doesn't even get a third um tier thing. So that's just great. But I mean, I guess you use him maybe as a, if you put like five defensive linemen, you use him as one of the people on the inside. He will be pretty good there because he does a very nice finesse move, but otherwise he's not that special. But the last upgrade we did make to the team, Gregory Rousseau, 90 overall rising stars. I did make a video on him. So you guys did not check that video out. I will leave a link. I actually think there's like an icon thing that pops up here. I'll try to put it there if I remember, but I probably won't. But anyway, he has 90 speed, 93 excel, 90 strength, 89 tackling, 83 play rec, 91 block shot, 92 power move, 83 finesse move. Great card all around. And he's 6'7, 266. So if you want, you can put my defensive tackle too, which is what I do sometimes. So I do have El Toro on him. He's ab he's an absolute monster for me. Like, please, if you do need an edge rusher, pick this guy up. He's an absolute monster. But that's going to be it for the video. I hope, really hope you guys enjoyed. Unfortunately, lost to Tennessee Titans. A bye week coming up. Then we do take on the Miami Dolphins. So hopefully we can destroy them there. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.